Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute. We're at a really cool place in Lincolnton, North Carolina. I'm actually gonna go do an EVP session on a supposed pirate's grave. Now, the supposed pirate's name is Jean Lafayette. He has connections to the Gulf Coast, Mississippi, New Orleans, Louisiana, that whole area. Um, he supposedly changed, faked his death, changed his name to Lorenzo. Now, it gets strange because there is, there is evidence supporting this. Lorenzo supposedly joined the Freemasons. There's a sword with Jean Lafayette's initials on it in the Freemasonry building in this area. There's actually a few books and articles about this supporting everything, but as soon as the rain passes, I'm gonna run in, show you the grave and the church and do an EVP session. I am gonna change my shoes. The ground is wet. It's been raining off and on all morning. So I'm gonna put on my boots. I keep shoes on with me in the back of my car at all times, just an extra, just in case pair. Okay, we're gonna walk around the cemetery um, it's very intriguing. I love these iron gates. Each time I see an iron gate, I just fall immediately in love. Um, so we're gonna walk around. The pirate's grave is supposedly way in the back corner. So we're gonna start up front and then just work our way towards the back. Built in 1885, this church is actually part of the National Registry of Historic Places and Churches. So I always try to hit the ones especially that are listed as historical places, but this is not far from me at all, maybe a 15 minute drive, because I'm on the opposite end of, on the other side of this county, but on the opposite end where my county meets, if that makes sense, depending on where your counties lie. But let's do a quick EVP session through the cemetery and then we're gonna head back. Is there anyone out here who'd like to speak with us? Is there anyone out here who'd like to speak with me right now? Oh, okay. Right off the bat. What's your name? Can you make that noise one more time, please? Thank you. I'm not here to cause any harm. I'm just exploring and trying to find a supposed pirate that's buried here. Anyone else out here? A lot of bugs out here. A lot of insects. This is a beautiful cemetery. I can only assume it's I can only assume it's cared for by the church and its volunteers. Church? Yes, church. Right there, church. Do you like this church? Did you attend this church?
outside. I love this beautiful brick walkway. I love the lamppost too. We have some interesting um, headstones and markers out here. A lot of them are like of Celtic and Scottish design. I have an entire book of cemetery symbols and headstone symbols that I keep forgetting to bring out with me. And I think the supposed pirate of Lincolnton is buried in that back corner back there at that, that right there, back there. Dieter, hey! I was just looking for somebody with that last name not too long ago. No kidding. If you guys did not see my last video, I was actually on the hunt for somebody of the name Chris Dieter, who was a supposed witch doctor. And the area is close enough to where it could be a, a relation. That's really cool. That is beautiful. Love that so much. It's so detailed. The thought process and details that go into a lot of these monuments are mind blowing. Okay, pretty sure it's back here. Oh, holy crap. There are three infants that died back to back to back. 1899, 1900, 1894, 1890. Oh, wow. I don't know what you said, but I heard you. Okay, let's keep going back here. Oh look, there's pebbles and rocks. And it's guarded by security. That is hilarious. Love that. Lorenzo Ferrier. Yep. I think this is it right here. I think this is the person I'm looking for. Was your name John Lafayette? I set up my equipment. I got my K2 in my spirit box. Are you from? Are you the pirate from the Gulf Coast? Who faked his death and was buried in North Carolina? Your story is actually very interesting. 
And I did not hear about you until I actually visited New Orleans myself. People are leaving you money and tokens and coins as a show of respect. Do you mind me talking to you? Is your sword at the Masonic Temple downtown? Why did you fake your death? I mean, as a pirate, I can only imagine a few scenarios behind that. What made you want to live in North Carolina? I don't have any coins on me or else I would leave some too. I'm sorry I don't have money or tokens to give you right now. Are you happy with where you're buried? Let me get closer. I'm still really curious as your story. It's pretty, it's very, very interesting. Did you have friends or family in North Carolina and that's where you chose to hide? Or did you just hide because too many people were after you? There's a few people who are interested in your story. You made quite an impression on a lot of, on a lot of the residents in this county. I have to leave, so if there's anything you want to say, I'm listening. Well, thank you for being a part of our, our local folklore. Do you mind if I visit you again? There's another church down there. I'm hearing bells, but it's not from here. I'll visit you again soon, okay? And next time I'll bring uh, coins or money. <sighs> Thanks for joining me on another Aldine. I really appreciate any support that I get. You guys know the drill. And if you're in my area, feel free to drop any other locations you think I might be interested in. I've had a lot of people doing that lately. And that's fine by me. I love exploring. I love filming these places. So you guys know the drill. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys later.